Hello, uh, my name is Mingfei Leng. I'm the Applications Engineering Manager at Bird Technologies Group. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you the concept of IM or intermodulation. Uh, that is a reality in RF design. You will see this whether you realize or not in every system design, every system implementation. Here are two uh, radios, very simple Motorola uh, walkie talkies. They're both programmed on channel 5 which is a 462.6625 megahertz. And as I key this up, as you will see on the screen of the portable spectrum analyzer, which is also made by Bird Technologies Group, it's a signal hog, and you will see the spike coming up. And the marker 5 shows you what the center frequency of this signal channel is. And also you hear a little response time on the other radio is when they talk to each other. Uh, in reality, somebody would hold one radio, somebody would hold the another one uh, half a mile or several miles away, they can talk to each other. And these channels allow you to occupy a specific frequency, and while somebody is talking on a different frequencies, you will not interfere with each other. And I have a third radio here, which is programmed on channel 1. As I key that up, as you will see, the marker is on the left, the uh, number 1 marker, that frequency is 462.5625 megahertz. And as you just heard it, uh, channel 1 radio keys up and channel 5 is quiet as they're supposed to be because that's a different frequency. They do not interfere with each other. Finally, I have another radio, the fourth one, programmed on channel 3. That frequency is 462.6125. And as you key that up, you will see the center frequency is the middle one, marker 3. Again, as that keyed up, 155, five, they all keep quiet, as they're supposed to be. However, in reality, if you have channel 1 that's being transmitting, somebody's talking to somebody else, and channel 5 is transmitting, or vice versa, let's say channel 3 and channel 5 are transmitting, theoretically, channel 1 should be silent, because none of these frequencies have anything to do with them. But in reality, channel 1 will hear some statics. Channel 5 key up, channel 3 key up. And you might hear the squeak noise that's on channel 1 receive. Uh, that exactly is intermodulation. Basically, the frequency of channel 3 and the frequency of channel 5 in frequency domain, they multiply and add or subtract. And the one of the resulting frequencies, which we call IM products, lands exactly on the channel 1 frequency. And that's the squeak you just heard. And that is simply a demonstration of the IM.